Hello everybody, Jonathan Richards here, lead trainer and marketing rep at Abor, and it is time for a matrix update. That's right, it's getting a fresh new look and some new functionality. We are going reso, my friend. So today I wanna to cover the search function inside of matrix and some changes that are happening there. First things first, you'll see right here, I have a new widget, it is the search widget. This is somewhat comparable to what used to be a quick search. So you can go in here, put in your information, hit search and get your criteria, or you can come up here and do a full search. Now you'll notice I have residential, but do not worry, all of the other searches for property types are here, including leasing, including farmland, commercial, also cross property search, or if you wanna search for open houses, you have the ability to be able to do that as well. But today I'm gonna to click on residential. This is what I want to share with you guys today. First things first is our statuses. We are using the rich Riso dictionary terms now and some of this wording has changed. So let's go through it. Active still means active. Active under contract you're familiar with. It used to be pending taking backups. We also have pending. We also have closed, which used to be sold. We have hold, which is temporarily withdrawn. And withdrawn means off market, obviously, and then expired. We've also added home sale contingency. So if you wanna see if the home is contingent. Also sub property type, we've changed that slightly. You'll see we have single family, residential, condominium, manufactured home, mobile home, modular, townhouse, or C remarks. We still have the ability to do or or not and be able to uh, select multiple sub property types or anywhere where there is an or or not. We've also added ownership type down here. So you can search by common, fee simple, fractional, or C remarks. Your search area hasn't changed much. You can still use the map search, obviously. That functionality has stayed the same. You can do a, re a radius search if you like, or a specific address. You can also search by county, city, area, and zip code. One cool thing is that all you have to do now is type in a few letters of whatever county, city, uh, area or zip code you're looking for and they will pop up a drop down menu and you can choose from that in order to choose or you can just simply hit on the magnifying glass and it'll pull up a, a list of all of the counties and you can add which ones that you want to search in. Also, we've added the ability to search by search if the property has a private pool, waterfront right here on the main search area. And then the search criteria itself hasn't really changed much. We've added a couple of additional things like property condition, HOA. But what really has changed in our search feature is some of the criteria that we put down here at the bottom. First things first, you can search by room type. You can see that there are a ton of different room types that you can search as well as room features. And then right here, guys, private remarks. This used to be known as agent remarks. Same thing, it is just now called private remarks. Also, do not forget, use that contains with. So if you're looking for something specific within the agent or private remarks, you wanna make sure to put that asterisk in there and then whatever word uh, or phrase you uh, need to search for and then another asterisk. Do not forget to use the contains with. You can do the same thing in public remarks. And then we've also added some search criteria, some general information, interior information, exterior information, utilities information, and then also showing occupancy and terms information. So guys, I hope this was useful. As always, if you have any questions, give us a shout right here at the Austin Board of Realtors. <laughs>